Some uh, of the uh, processes that we've been researching have to do with job site logistics, um, also uh, safety um, with te techniques like photogrammetry. Uh, you can use the images that are obtained by a UAS and you can process those and create point clouds that have uh, information that allows you to, uh, to actually measure uh, from those images in three dimensions. So the type of UASs that we use are uh, readily available. Uh, they are commercial uh, grade. Um, for example, uh, we use uh, DJI uh, models. We use 3D robotics uh, models. The experiments that we do with these are basically field tests on uh, how uh, usable they are to obtain imagery uh, of the construction processes uh, that we're interested in evaluating. The human factor for us is the most important uh, aspect of UAS operation. Uh, you know, UAS is, uh, is, a, is a combination of uh, the operator, the craft, and the ground station or the control system that you use. Without the operator, none of those uh, other parts would work. One of the areas that our research specializes uh, in is how this technology can actually enhance the performance of the construction personnel, uh, how it can uh, help them to perform their uh, tasks more efficiently um, at a lower cost and even safer than they were able to perform before. I think once the, the regulations are, are finalized, uh, we will see uh, uh, an increased rate of adoption with also the advances in technology, in navigation, sense and avoid. Um, UAS will be part of, of everyday construction. We're looking ahead at uh, a time when you can use the design of, the, of a structure uh, as the navigation system and have a UAS that would intelligently know uh, where to go uh, what parts to uh, get images from and that would help uh, the construction personnel so they can actually be uh, more focused on identifying what the problems are and solving uh, those problems. Also where the UAS could be a helping hand. I don't dare give a, an estimate but I think within my lifetime a lot of these things will, will become a reality, um, and at least I hope they, they are.